Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to go over some of the preferences that I like to change as soon as I install Darkroom Core. These might not work for everybody, but these are my personal preferences. And then I'll try to explain them as we go along so you can make the decision whether these changes are right for you. So I'm going to go ahead and select some images so we can see what we're doing. I prefer a larger thumbnail so I can uh, see the image, the eyes a little bit more clearly. Next thing I like to do is show my file names. By default the file names are not turned on but I do like to turn those on. And uh, the other thing that uh, by default is the order is not, uh, the shopping cart's not open so I always click show order. And then we'll switch over to the photo workshop and kind of do the same things. Uh, view, file names. I like to change the order in the uh, the workshop so that it's uh, by ascending. That's the way it is in the photo library. I just like to have them both be the same. Um, for event photographers, a lot of times they will want to have the newer images on top. It's just easier for them to uh, stay organized. But my preference is I like them to be the same in photo library and the photo workshop. And then show the cart. And then uh, something specific for the photo workshop is the guides. I like to be able to see this so I know where each print size is going to crop. Um, if you use this option, there's a very good reason why you don't want to necessarily use this option if you're doing multiple sizes. You might get your uh, print looking perfect for an 8x10 but whenever you order a 4x6 you'll actually get white lines at the top or uh, you'll get white lines and there's no way of knowing because you're only looking at the 8x10 you're not actually looking at the file as it is so I always leave it at auto and use my guides and know that whatever's in between 8x10 is gonna um, that's how the 8x10 will crop 5x7 and then 4x6 the uh, next thing on the list is our setup tab. We'll go to application options and then general. I like to check the option for uh, ignore preview thumbnails embedded in images and specifically I will shoot raw images sometimes, edit them and bring them in as JPEGs and the files uh, the previews that are embedded in those JPEGs often have funky colors so if you uh, use those it'll come out magenta or pink by checking this option Darkroom will rebuild those preview files so they're accurate and um, so I always check that because I do like to shoot raw at times um, and then we'll scroll down the uh, a prompt for copies. I always check, uncheck these two options, um, and just this is just in my workflow. I find that it's better to click or easier to click multiple times on a package to get multiple copies, rather than uh, having that prompt come up each time when I'm typically doing a single print. And then the template marketplace. I like to uncheck this option for the photo workshop, but leave the option checked for the setup tab so I can still view and purchase templates from the marketplace but um, while I'm working in the photo workshop I'm able to see my templates and what I'm actually working on rather than what I can purchase. The next thing we'll go to is workflow settings um, and these uh, questions are repeated three times so it's important to do it for all three but I uh, um, will check the option for fill package with current photo on all three of these and then um, make sure add default package is not checked for each of those because that could be kind of confusing anytime you see like a, a white square for an 8x10 every time you open up the software and you have to delete it first that's this option so you would want to uncheck the default package. The other thing I like to do is switch to studio for presentation mode for both event and studio. It's a, a personal preference. Uh, the options that are in the studio are 
work a little bit better for my workflow. Some of the, the comparing and um, that I can view multiple images at a time and work on multiple images at a time. So that's preference. It's a good idea to test out both and see which one works best for you. And I think we're good on preferences here. The next thing we'll do is switch over to capture options. If you're going to shoot tethered, go ahead and check your camera. And uh, I don't have a camera connected right now, but I do shoot Canon. And here I like to, this is if you're uh, shooting with a tethered camera, I like to check all of these options. Now if you're working with a second person, there's a photographer and an editor, you might want to change this option to no. And the reason for this is what will happen, you take a picture and it'll show up as the main image on your photo workshop. If they're working, they're going to get pretty upset with you after a while that you keep replacing the image they're actually working on. So you can set that to no if uh, that is an issue for your workflow. And the next thing we'll do is switch over to fulfillment options and then receipt options this I'll show you what what is going on here whenever you add a package and place an order you get this receipt that pops up we can and for me that's just one extra click that I have to do to get my image to my printer so I typically will uh, uncheck that option and I don't have a printer set up, so it's giving me this message, but um, it will bypass that um, receipt that shows up each time. So under fulfillment, receipt options, I like to uncheck this option. The next thing is our uh, packages. So this default package uh, packages come that come with the software are made more for an 8x10 printer. Um, and the majority of our users are going to either be using 8x10 or they're doing 4x6, 5x7, 6x8. So I like to add another, oops, another group, um, new group, um, I'm going to just name it my packages and the first package is going to be 4 by 6 and I love the quick print option as soon as I click the the package it sends it to my printer and it starts working as quickly as possible um, that's always my goal to try to get things moving from one place to the other as fast as possible so I always almost always use quick print We'll go ahead and click OK. And it's going to give us this message saying we're giving it away for free. You can add a price if you're using uh, some of the receipts. But I typically will disable that option. Click Yes. And um, I'm going to add my 4x6 print. We'll click Add Package, 5x7, Quick Print. Add my 5x7 package. And then Add package again, do a 6x8 quick print. And here I don't see the 6x8, but if I click to 8 inch prints, select 6x8. There we go. And I like adding one more package that is a digital delivery. Um, I'll just call it file. Quick print. What this allows you to do is when you're working, if you're making changes, let's say adding a template, you can just click on this package and it'll automatically save to a folder. And at that point, you can plug in a flash drive and sell somebody a, a, um, a digital version of that image. So we're going to click on digital delivery products, digital media. And I have a folder on my desktop, I believe, called digital files and we'll I like changing the compression to 9 um, this uh, compresses the file down just a little bit but it doesn't um, lose any quality I just get a smaller file size so we'll go ahead and apply settings and then set default and 
what that does is over here in our photo workshop now it's uh, switched over to my package group um, last thing that we'll do is add printer I use a DS40 um, it's a directly supported printer if you don't see your printer from this list you can um, scroll down here and click add windows printer and use any type of uh, Windows printer driver um, that is uh, maybe not a directly supported printer. So this works out well for uh, the ones that we don't support yet. I don't have a printer actually connected but if I did it would tell me what paper I have and I'm going to go ahead and click OK so next time I start up it's looking for my printer, it's looking for my camera I would just create a new catalog and start shooting away and printing away. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, have a great day.